Hey everyone, Clark here with Waiting to Load, and today we're going to continue on with our series on the Armory, the series where we talk about the history, opinions, and classifications of weapons throughout the video games we love. Continue on with Battlefield 1, and today it is the Vitali, Vitali M1870. I did butcher that, guaranteed. This was an Italian service rifle from 1870 to 1887. The version we know is different than the actual M1870. Unaltered was a smoke or black powder single shot rifle. It was altered to be more like the Carcano, where we got a different barrel, smokeless powder, which is major. And the actual service of this weapon was 1870 to 1941, counting the smokeless and the black powder variants. This was in service from the First Ethiopian War to eventually the Spanish Civil War. Uh, and there's five examples of this gun still existence today. Uh, the weird thing though about this weapon is that a number were sent to Russia, a large number. Uh, probably why it was in the Russian DLC, at least I think so. And then those were eventually sent to Spain during the Civil War since the Russians really didn't want this gun even though they ordered the gun and so how that's that's how they get to the Spanish Civil War uh, so that's the history of the gun the most I got um, to get this gun like I said this is a DLC gun so you need to complete some challenges the infantry version you need 15 kills with the M1903 experimental which sucks because I hate that gun 20 periscope spot assist not too bad, just stick back on like this map. This is a perfect map to do it on like an operation. Just chill in the back, behind cover, just get your assist done. You'll get it eventually. The carbine version, uh, 50 kills with the SMLE Mark III carbine. Super fun to get that one. I love the carbines. And then you need to destroy uh, one vehicle with K bullets, which I think in my Battle for One history so far, as myself a gamer, I've maybe done 10 K bullet vehicle destructions and ever since this challenge came up I've gotten zero I just cannot get the timing right because with the cable at least for me I just think the easiest way to do it is to cheese after someone's wrecked a tank or something to go in and just try and time it to where you get the last shot you get the kill with the cable it's super hard and I just I've just been off it probably because I've been trying too hard to get it I'm not you know playing naturally um, this gun can fire 47 rounds per minute, supposedly. Um, it's kind of weird because it has four bullets in a clip, or whatever you want to call it. And so, I find it a little bit rough um, on deciding to use it or not. Because having four, you're essentially only going to get two kills unless you're getting headshots or you know upper body shots and getting damaged people. So, two to three max, and... I don't know, I just, I like having the ability of 5, like the Gear M95, I like that, because I can get 5 kills with that, um, this one I'm not 100% sure I can get 4 kills with, um, but I did get some sweet camo that you could see on here, so I'm okay with using it for now. In terms of popularity, um, I haven't seen it too much on the battlefield, and maybe that's because of the K-Bullet instance, um, I don't think anyone's having trouble with the periscope problem. Um, I do like it though, uh, just because of it's interesting and if it's different, you know, from what we've been used to. Uh, I think it looks different how it reloads, that the cockback and pull. Um, it's a bit different, I like it, you know, it's something else to, you know, work towards, I'm still working towards the cable, like I said. Um, so, that is, that's it for this one, this one's pretty short. I'm just going to let the gameplay go out the rest of it. If you like what you see here, please leave a like. If you really like what you see here, you can subscribe. Do me a great favor on that. Um, otherwise, I'll see you in the next episode of The Armory. Catch you later.
being pushed back. Let's go! 